Behind us, we have our Ferrari F355, and it's alive, baby. In the last episode, we took this thing out for a test drive and found quite a few things wrong with it. The gearbox is clunky, the headlights don't work, the top doesn't work, we got a couple lights on the dashboard, that taillight doesn't work, e-brake so, doesn't work. E-brake, you pull it, it does nothing, so we got a lot of work to do still to get this thing dialed in. Let's get this thing racked, get it up in the air, and get to fixing her. I'm gonna start out by changing the transmission fluid. We gotta take this air box off because the fill plug is actually like way down there. So it's gonna make it a lot easier to get it off with this out of the way. From there, we're gonna get the fill plug off because it's got a little dipstick on it, which is kind of super weird. Hopefully this gets rid of our clunk. Bone dry. No, it's there, yeah, there's fluid there. I gotta, I gotta wipe it off. Dude, it's got a dipstick. It's got a little tiny oh, dipstick for the really? tires. This is like halfway between min and max. The level's like perfect. Oh. Got going on here, Ricky. What's your problem? So I'm gonna be working the electrical system in the car, and I need the key on for a long time. I don't want to kill the batteries. We are going to put it to a battery charger. Yeah, so it's gonna maintain the charge in the battery while I'm working on it, and we don't kill the battery dead. Is that why this light's on? That's what I'm gonna be fixing. Make sure both of them turn on when we turn the headlights on. Did you find a fuse panel down there? Find the fuse panel down here. Way down there. Way down. Need a shot at? Probably not. Yep. Look at that. Found okay, one. It is way down there. Yeah. So I got the transmission fluid drained out, and as far as trans fluid goes, it looks pretty bad. It's solid black. There's a little bit of shimmer. There wasn't not a ton of stuff on the magnet. Sitting for 10 years does not do this to fluid. Just not changing the fluid does. So more than likely, this fluid was like this, and then the car sat for 10 years. So my hope is that this fluid has just completely lost all of its viscous ability, all of its ability to do its job just because it's so old and so worn out. So we're gonna throw some new fluid in there. Get five liters in, and then uh, go drive it again. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the Throttle YouTube channel and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss a thing. I found the other fuse box and I checked everything. Fuses are fine. I haven't tested no relays yet, but all the fuses are fine. I found a couple of stuff unplugged underneath the dash, which it was done obviously before we got a hold of the car. Okay, so, so why was it unplugged then? That's a question. I don't, well, we're about to find out. <laughs> we're gonna find out, huh? Yeah, so I plugged everything back in that I but that I saw um, and still nothing. My tail light's still not working and my halos are still not popping up. So I got more work to do. Good. I've got four quarts in out of five. It's all of them stuck. I think and I'm then our gearbox it. should uh, not be so crunchy. I hope. I think I'm gonna lift it up and then like run it on the rack in gear just to kind of get fluid moving through all the spots and see if it kind of cleans it up. And if it's shifting smoothly on the rack, then maybe it'll shift smoothly on the drive. This fluid was freaking hammered though, man. Let me get that out of it, bro. What? Okay. What? Go, boy. Hey Ricky, we're going to Puerto Rico, huh? Yay! Wepa! Mofongo! Alright, now let's run it. Up on the lift through some gears. Now, Mr. Ricky. Yeah, yeah, make make progress. We didn't have turning signal or parking light. We only have brake light. So now we have brake light, turning signal, still no parking light. And I did notice that our harness has no power whatsoever. So the issue is past the system, past the harness. So we have to trace this back to wherever it plugs into. The problem is that everything is installed. There's an engine in, everything is on. So now you have to back trace it harder. It's going to take longer. So. Well, this wiring was not part of the engine stuff. Oh, it all. was not. This is different. This yeah, is this the body. This, this wiring never came out of the car. Ah, uh, well, that may be the problem. So the middle one with this yellow is your parking. That's ground. But then this one is flickering, so that has to be the turning signal. Blue turn signal, that's parking. They got unplugged that and nothing on the tail light changed. Are you sure that's even for the tail light? Yes, because it came with the uh, Morimoto kit. Oh, it's for maybe it's for brake light. Oh yeah, that's what it is. 
So now we're going to do a continuity check to make sure we don't have a break in the wire between the light and the fuse box. So we're going to start on the left hand side because you know it works and it's going to be a control. And uh, if the test is good, then we're going to try it on the right side and see what's up. So while Ricky's working on the taillights, I'm actually gonna start working on the headlights, see if I can get them to come up and down, and I just stuck my head down there with a flashlight and found out this headlight, the pop-up mechanism is literally just unplugged. So the wiring is down there, it's just not plugged in at all. I'm gonna try and plug them in and see if it works. If it does, that'd be really cool. Clean the contacts on the headlights. We know this one works. I haven't tested that one out. This is the official flip up headlight Ferrari test. I have, I have faith in your work, which means that's not gonna work. Wow, I'm shutting that. That's messed up, dude. Wow, he got this whole engine running and you, you got <laughs> and he, yeah, 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 yeah. I fixed one tail out, I'm like, hey, I'm the guy. <laughs> Go. You, you want to do something, bud? Let's go. Did you turn the switch back on? Yeah. Oh, you don't have to mess with it. Uh, I messed with it. So. You got no battery? Yeah, I like the There we go. Try now. Sick. You fixed it, all right. Yeah, good job, Quinn. So, I blame, I blame who's Ricky. right? I blame Ricky. Who's right? He broke everything now. Nothing works. Pop the hood. Pop the front. No! Oh, no way. No. <laughs> what are you new? Hey! Pop, pop, pop down the headlights. Good job. We got the headlights, baby. And Let's they go. work. They got tape on. Now we can go for a nighttime drive. Look at why do they got tape? Because wait, the, don't close it. Don't turn it off. Because the body shop that this car was in probably it sat there for so long that oh, cool. look at it has clear coat over it. Has clear coat. So this car went into the body shop to get its respray and it never made it out. So the, the previous owner of this car never enjoyed this car after it was painted. Pretty sad. Either they got it back and they never got the headlights working, so they never drove it at night, or they got it back and never drove it again. Dude, we got pop-ups. That's a sad story, dude. I'm I'm kind of bummed for the previous owner. They got taken for a ride. Yeah. Should you check the pie beams? I pie beams work already. Oh, ha! yeah. They work, baby. They work. <laughs> the high beams work. look way better. We got pop-ups. Oh, pop we're in good shape. Headlights work. We can drive this thing at night now. Sick. All right, let me let me test it real quick. Right. I think so. We're about to find out. Let's go. Come on. Get on. Get on. Hey! Got it! Turn signal. And the other side. Not brakes. Does it? Yeah. 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 Hazard lights. Let's go, baby. Back and he's done. Nailed it, dude. Let's go. Impressive. Let's go. Tail lights checked off. Tail lights down. And now I gotta move into the front parking lights because we have no turning signals in the front, so I'm gonna do that next. What do you got there, Mick? Oh, uh, just some overnight parts from Italy. Dad, yeah. We're done messing with Japanese cars. We're ordering parts from Italy now. Hey. Ooh. This is our new oil pressure. That's the wrong way. That's our new oil pressure. Our new oil pressure sending Sensor. unit. So when we first started this car, keyed on the car, our gauge went 
full peg the max and it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't alleviate itself so ironically after driving the car quite a bit it actually started working properly so something just wasn't right with it so we decided we wanted to replace it uh, being that it's right here on top of the engine it's really not that big a deal just gotta get our engine here to tighten it up now uh, we'll put the wires back on and we should have a good working um, oil pressure gauge, which is important. This is a dry sump engine, and we wanna make sure that we keep an eye on the oil levels uh, through the dipstick and also on the on the dash. Hey, Ricky, you were going Leave it on, leave it on, leave it on, it's fine. Stop, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're up behind the scenes right here, Ricky. He's always trying to break. No, I'm actually trying to fix stuff. He just yeah. gets to look, look. look just, okay, look. okay, so here's, the, here's <laughs> look, at, look at our, this is our cam position sensor, right? Ready for the connector underneath? Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> but look, 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 okay. You just it plugs in. You nice. just plug it in. It just stays. So what I leave it alone. If you want it to stay more, you put a little bit of fit pig on the top and the bottom, and then you just, and then it stays. That's a, that's so a, I was that's gonna a put a zip tie on it so it can stay in place. Big tip for you guys if you have connectors that don't plug in or the thing is broken and it doesn't stay on, put a little bit of fit pig on the side, form and place gasket, oh, slide it on there. Oh, you make you broke something already. Go to the Toyota gasket maker. dealership. Though. Walk into the parts department. Ah, said, gasket maker. Say, give me, give pig me feet. fit pig, and you'll give you a little give box. Give me the pig. Give me the about pig's that feet. big. It's like what? twenty bucks. Oh, give shoot. me the feet pigs. Quinn, that just Best. came off, dude. What do you mean? Uh, here, see if you can put another little, little turn on that for me, Quinn. Let me put some fit pig. Used to loose, so it's why. not gonna is it tight 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 i got it on there pretty good we can start as it as far up. as i can get it let's start it up and run it and if it doesn't link then we're done fall out nate ready <laughs> <laughs> you just oh, pulled it out <laughs> well that's a problem are they cut yeah they're ripped they're not even cut they're freaking ripped Can we get the top down, Ricky? Uh, I gotta, I gotta get it off the lift. Yeah, let's put the top down. Oh, I can do it manually without. Who's Manuel? Manuel. Oh wait, we don't have a button either. I didn't know we had a guy named Manuel. We have to here. do it manual. Can we take this thing down to cul sac Top down, lights on, in the dark. I'm down, but nah. we gotta get the top down. Also, I have some badges I could be putting on here. I don't know you how do you guys feel about that. Well, I don't want to no, 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 drive no, it. No, no. That's you did that, That's did that last time on the other car. We ended up freaking stripping the whole bumper. <laughs> what are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? I said, don't put the emblem on. He puts it on and we ended up redoing the whole bumper. Oh, yeah, Nick. That's what's up. That's yeah, what that's what I'm talking about. Is that gonna stay on? Is that? Uh, no, I, I don't have. So it has the studs on the back, of little posts, and you have to have these little like, like I don't know if you've seen them, little aluminum washer things that like, like the pre back. they press yeah. on, and we don't have those. And it looks like at one point this was actually glued into the grill. We're not gonna glue it. I think I'm just gonna get the little, uh, maybe just put a little bit of 3M tape on the back, and then put the metal things on here, so that mm. if those fail, it doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. But this already, this panel already has the holes for the pre-drilled for the uh, emblem, so you can't really screw this up I and mean, it's kind of right there. that's where it goes and it looks great well it looks so good convertible top to work that doesn't mean it does work so there's like straps that need to be replaced <laughs> we got it to do what it does the main first main thing is that the the little switches right here the left one is for the seat the middle one's for the top and then the right one's for the seat and that whole keypad thing is smokes and those are the wrong buttons so we need to find those buttons um, other than that the hydraulic system on this works is just like this strap these straps are worn out so it kind of works really bad uh, but we got it to drop the top who broke it? What do you mean? No, it's like that. 
That's, that is not like that. It's been like that. I've just been putting it back. That's an entry mat. You put it on the floor. Hey, that's a, a genuine Ferrari yeah. product, sir. That's a genuine that's a, Ferrari format. That's it's a genuine silver. Ferrari part, bro. Look what it says on mine. Don't go back. You can't throw that on the ground, dude. Disrespecting Ferraris. I can't wait, you bro. <laughs> yeah, now we're talking. It feels like we need to go by some high speed freaking PCH runs in this thing now. Right? Toss a 326 power wing in the back of it. Dude, verts are always a vibe. Oh, I do. Yeah? You wanna go drive it? Mm hmm. Alright, we'll go. Oh, you wanna go with him? Yeah, I wanna hop in there. Can we all three of us can get in there? Yep. I can be in the middle. Headlights? On. Not that first one. Uh, I still don't know where the gauge cluster lights are. I think that came out when I did this, but it doesn't want to. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like it. Ricky and I just finished our test drive with the Ferrari and it turns out we might actually have a bigger problem on our hands as far as the transmission goes than we initially thought. So we changed the fluid, the fluid was absolutely destroyed, put some fresh new fluid in it, it didn't really seem to do a whole lot. Now reading owner's manuals on these cars, crashing the gearboxes and like second gear grinds, third gear grinds is very common for these on cold. I don't think we've driven this car nearly long enough to get the transmission up to temperature. Like up and down the cul-de-sac once or twice is not going to get this transmission up to temp. It could be a totally normal thing, I just think we need to drive the car more and find out. Probably gonna get a hold of Steven, get him back down here and see if there's anything we can do to remedy that. Otherwise we might be in for a new transmission, which is not good. Other than that, every single time we make progress on this car, it is huge. The improvement is huge. We still have to finish the front bumper. We've got no uh, front turn signals at all, but we've got working headlights. The interior is still trashed and needs some work, but we've got the hatch on and we've got the top down and it looks absolutely beautiful. I love the style of this car especially with the top down, it just looks so good. And we got it all nice and cleaned up and it sounds amazing. So we're making huge progress on this thing. Thank you guys as always. Don't forget to like, drop a comment down below on how you think our Ferrari's turning out and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.